Boston City Council meeting just wrapped up where the public was allowed to give input on the golf cart ordinance. The meeting ended about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, city leaders are considering making changes to the ordinance after four people were killed in a crash on Saturday. KPRC 2's Rochelle Turner live on the island tonight. And Rochelle, the ordinance was also discussed at a workshop earlier today. Brandon, it was discussed at that workshop earlier today and many city council members made some suggestions about what they would like to see be done. But today we also had a chance to speak to the attorney representing the victims and their families and he says there needs to be change. Tonight, people in Galveston spoke at the city council meeting about the golf cart ordinance. I represent all the families that, that were uh, injured and killed as a result of what happened this weekend. Our office has been working tirelessly to get to the bottom of everything that happened. Um, and, and these families haven't buried their children yet. Um, and we hope that that something something is done within the powers that y'all have to prevent this from happening again. Between June of 2021 and this month, Galveston police responded to 32 incidents involving golf carts. Nine of them had injuries. We feel uh, to do whatever we can to maintain the safety for all individuals here. This morning, Mayor Craig Brown, city council members and the city's attorney spoke about making changes to the ordinance after Saturday's fatal crash that left four family members dead. They discussed banning golf carts at night on public streets, banning golf carts entirely, speed limit changes, age requirements, along with fines and regulations. It's going to take all of us coming together, not only the city, but the golf cart companies to work together to see what ideas we can come up with. My my biggest suggestion for them or my suggestion would be is to actually sit down with the rental companies. Tiffany Gibson co-owns Beach and Rides and Rentals on the seawall and says she's been to several council meetings about setting standard procedures when it comes to safety. I cannot stress enough the importance for seat belts. Um, one major issue we had last year, we were going to get seat belts passed across the board and then they threw it out at really the last minute. Galveston is a big tourist attraction that brings in millions of people each year. Officials want to make sure safety is at the top of the list. I think we need to think about the future when we start restricting who can be on the street and what kind of conveyance. And city council did not make any votes tonight on that ordinance. The mayor says they will continue to gather input and will make a decision at a later date. Reporting live in Galveston, I'm Rochelle Turner, KPRC 2 News. Rochelle, thank you. At noon.